Welcome back to the channel. My name is Stuart Lee and today I'm going to give you a quick, fast and dirty tutorial on how to use Google Meet's Hangout. Uh, Google Meet is the fancier enterprise version of Google Hangouts. So it's going to be very, very similar to Google Hangouts. If you don't have Google Meet through your school system or through your company, uh, Google Hangouts is your personal at gmail.com kind of answer. Um, watch this video but know that it's gonna look slightly different, although not very much. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to meet.google.com. Like we do with most things with Google, we go to the product.google.com and we get there and this is our, our landing page. There's a couple of ways we can create a Google Meet. Uh, we can either go to this meet.google.com and click on join or start a meeting. And at which point we do our test meeting title and then we'll continue. And now we've actually started a Google Hangouts meet. Um, which if you say that, we'll set off your Google Assistant. And the camera failed because I'm recording on this camera, just so that you know that. Um, the microphone will be working because I have multiple microphones hooked up to this computer, uh, but ordinarily you'll get the little pop-up box asking for permissions to allow your camera, all that kind of stuff. Now, if you're ready to go, you can go ahead and join meeting now. And here it is, this is our title. Uh, we can copy our joining info and email it to somebody or text it to somebody or, or whatever uh, we need to do. Uh, we can also add people by their email address. So if we have their email address, we can add it here. We can just go through and add people, um, send the invites. Now everything is sent to them just like a, you would if from a business or from anything else if you've been into a conference call, video conference call before. Uh, or we can actually leave the Hangout and join it a different way. So if we're gonna do, if we're gonna create it this way, we can actually just jump in and go straight to presenting. Now, when we present, it asks us which screen do we want to present. When we present, the people who join our Google Meet will automatically see what we want them to see. They, they can go in and choose if they want to look at other people or not, but they're not going to get bounced around when other people are talking, that kind of thing. They're going to see what we want them to see from the start. So this is how I usually start my Google Meet. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this one. So I stopped sharing. I'm going to hang up. And if I want to, I can rejoin it, but I don't want to rejoin it. I'm going to return to our screen because I'm going to show you way number two that you can create a Google Meet. And this way is going to be through a calendar invite. So we'll go to calendar.google.com. And so I'm going to create a new calendar event just by clicking on the on the, the spot. And if you want to learn how to use Google Calendar, uh, the one of these is a card that will explain to you is my video on how to use Google Calendar. Uh, it's a great video. Um, so anyway, we're going to add location or conferencing. So I'm going to add conferencing right here. It's going to automatically do a Hangouts meet. And now we're going to give it a title and we can go in here and actually add people to it. So we're going to go add guest. Whoops. And in this where we can add guests by email, just like we would in any other calendar event. And then once we save it, it'll send out the invites. And even if this is a week ahead, that invite will be there. They can just come to their calendar event, click on this, and go straight to the meeting. Um, again, camera starting, but yet I'm using the camera, so it's going to fail. But you can see that it hears me talking because this is the audio indicator right there. Now, once we join, once we get in, as the, the coordinator, if your, if your Google administrator has it turned on, you should be able to record the meeting. Uh, this is a newer option and it's an option that right now is available that Google has made available to everybody because of the COVID-19. Uh, more things are moving on online, so Google has made this available to everybody. Your administrator would need to have it turned on though. Uh, so I can record the meeting 
It's going to make sure that I have consent from everybody, assuming that you do. Now I am recording. Um, there's a few other options in here too, uh, most of which you really don't need to worry about. Now, I'm not presenting at this point. If there was more people in here, we would see them right here, and anybody that was talking, it would try to bounce to that screen uh, to, to show who was talking. Now, I can come over here and present my entire screen, and I'm gonna pick this one and share it, and now I'm presenting. And you see how it shows me as presenting? So, everybody's gonna see my screen, what I want them to see. Um, again, I can pull up my calendar, and if I'm doing it this way, so because you see how it's kind of scaling in on itself, that's because on my computer, I am now looking at my own presentation that's looking at my own presentation, that's looking at my own presentation, that's looking at my own presentation. But basically, this is what other people are seeing. Now, as a visitor in this, I can actually switch it over to look at just the person. So I get that control as the viewer. But you can see how Stuart Lee, this is my alter ego, uh, Stuart Lee, um, is presenting. Well, I've actually selected that alter ego um, to look at as opposed to the presentation. So if I click back on the presentation, now it's going to funnel in infinitely. Um, so we'll stop that so people don't get sick. But you see my point. Um, it's hard to show all of this with one person in one meeting kind of thing. I should have thought it through to have somebody else call in, but you get the gist. Uh, once you're done, let me switch back over to the main one. So this is the one I'm presenting at. Uh, I'm done. I'm going to stop recording. It's going to make sure I want to stop. So I stop recording. It'll take about five to 10 minutes. And then this recording will actually show up in my Google drive. And then I'll get an email saying your recording is ready in Google drive. And then I can share the recording with anybody I want to. Um, so that is how to use Google Hangouts really quickly. Now, once people join, they can mute themselves, they can unmute themselves, they can come and go uh, from the meeting. And then eventually in the next week or so, Google has said they are going to release an update that will make it so that once the organizer of the meeting, so the teacher of the meeting leaves, that room is closed, everybody gets kicked out and the kids can't hang out in an open room without a teacher. Um, so that's super awesome that Google's going to make that happen. By the time this video is released, it may have already happened. So be on the lookout for that um, update if it hasn't already landed. But if you have any other questions about Google Hangouts, Google Meets, check out some links in the description. I've linked to a couple other videos, especially about Google Hangouts. Um, I've done a video on that in the past. It hasn't changed that much. Um, but stay safe out there. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and join the family and be and click the little bell so you get notifications the next time I put a video out. Um, and if you like the content, give me a thumbs up. It really makes a lot of difference to me to know that people enjoy what I'm, I'm putting out there and the work I put into these videos. Um, until then, see you next time.